welcome back to my channel my name is Tiffany for those of you who are new so welcome today I'll be filming my second tutorial using the Kat Von D Satan Center palette today I'm focusing on the center side so this is the exact same look that you guys like loved and requested in my giveaway video so I wanted to recreate it for you guys and show you a tutorial of how I created this eye look so be sure to subscribe to my channel, and if you want to see how I created this look, then just keep watching. Alright, so first I went ahead and primed my eyes. I usually, if I do my face makeup first, we'll just prime my eyes using concealer, but since I use, or since I'm doing my eyes first, I prime my eyes using an actual eyeshadow primer. So now I'm going to go ahead and set that and I'm just going to take my Morphe E22 and I'm going to dip into the shade Amen, Amen, however you want to pronounce it. Do it both ways, honestly, and just pack this all over my lid and up to my eyebrow to go ahead and set that primer it'll just give us a nice base for later and make our lives a lot easier later on when we're doing a lot of blending in the crease all right so now that i have my base down i'm gonna go ahead and start putting some transition colors in my crease all right first i'm gonna take my morphe m433 and i'm gonna dip into the shade Mortar, pretty sure that's how you pronounce it, but it's the like nude one, third down, first one in that row, and I'm just going to pack this on my crease, and honestly you can be messy if you want, I'm going to clean up with a makeup wipe, or if it's easier for you, you can put a piece of tape, because I do um, cut it like a cat eye type, and then I'm going to do winged liner with this look. So since I put down that first base layer, it's blending and going on really nicely. Like I said, it just makes your life easier if you put down a good base layer first. Sorry if I'm like looking down. I put my mirror lower. So hopefully when I do look down, you guys can see what I'm doing a little bit better. I just hope I'm not out of focus or anything. So once there's less color on my brush, I will take it and blend higher towards my brow. It doesn't matter if you get any on the lid because I am going to do kind of like a cut crease, but not really. Um, I'll do a similar technique like I would just because I want the blue to stay on my lid only and not be in my crease at all. So then it's like if you close your eyes, it's just like a flash of blue. All right. So I'm going to dip in again and just bring it a little bit on my lid because I'm going to do it just halfway, kind of like a cut crease I guess. So just in the outer V. So this is where we're at right now. I'm going to blend this out. Okay. Now I'm just going to take the exact same brush and I'm going to dip into the shade Crucifix. This shade is actually on the Saint side. However, I need a good matte brown, or if you want, you can use a black. i just go straight in with a black, but I need to use a brown. This is just what I used when I did that look for my giveaway video. And a lot of you seem to like it, so I'm gonna recreate it for you guys. I'm just flicking it out to where I know I'm going to draw my line for my wing liner and everything. And then again, since there's less product, I'm going to blend up and over more. Okay, so I like where it's at right now. So now I'm going to take concealer. I'm just going to use my shape tape. And I'm going to put a little bit on a brush. I am going to use Alright, so 
I'm going to put a little bit of concealer on my Royal and Langnickel Omnia detail brush. You can use anything. I just like how it's small, so I would take a small flat brush and just, I just dip into my little concealer wand. And I'm going to start in the inner part of my eye because I'm focusing the blue on the inner and middle of my eye and then I'm going to blend the edges together on the outer part. So if you do want to see the blue, you can take it past your actual crease. Like if you have more deep set eyes, mine are more prominent. So that's why I'm only taking it to my actual crease line. And I'm just going to stop the concealer right there because that's why I'm going to blend it together. So I'm going to do the same on this eye. And it's okay if it dries because I'm actually going to set the concealer. Honestly, you don't need to use concealer, but this just makes it to where it's easier to see my line of the blue. And where I want to focus that color. But you can totally skip this. Like I said, it's just kind of like a half cut crease. Whoops. Alright, so I went a little bit higher. I'm just going to fix it and just gently tap the concealer. I'll fix it once I go in and blend everything out. So as you can see, I actually went a little bit higher on this side. But like I said, I can fix that. It's not a huge deal. This is just kind of like a foundation for what I'm going to be doing. Alright, so I'm going to take this Tarte brush. I have like five of these that I use all the time to pack on shimmer or metallic colors. So I'm going to go ahead and wet it. Um... I just like to do that so I get more pigment and there's less fallout even though I know I'm not wearing my face makeup but if you are it's good to spray your brush especially if you don't know how shadows are going to perform. So now I'm going to dip into the shade Ministry with this brush, this pretty blue and start packing and I just realized I forgot to set my eye so I'm going to set my eye real quick even though I already started. Alright, so now I'm going to pack on. See how it applies better once it's set. If you forget like I do, you can just go in and set it real quick and then go back in. It's not a huge deal. Alright, so that's what that side looks like so far. I'm going to do the same over here. Okay. So now that the blue is on, it looks like really light in my viewfinder right now, but it's actually like a darker blue than that, I don't know. But anyways, now I'm just going to take this tapered Morphe brush, you can use any brush, and I'm going to dip into the shade Crucifix again, and pack this on the outer V. and kind of blend it into the outer crease. This is why I said it doesn't matter if it's messy over here. Cause it's just gonna get blended and packed over anyways. All right, now I'm gonna take the same brush and dip into the shade Sabbath. And put that right over top. It's just a black in this palette. I'm gonna go back in with my Morphe M433 and just blend this out. And I'm gonna dip in to the shade Crucifix again and help blend it out. I'm gonna grab my Morphe E18 that I usually use on my lower lash line and just pack it right above that blue line and try to help one things out. Sometimes pigment just won't stick in certain parts of my eye no matter what I do. So it just happens. I think I got it to stick a little bit. So now I'm gonna go back in to dip into Ministry a little bit more just to make sure I didn't lose any of that pigment. Cause I think I did a little bit. Alright, so I'm going to take a makeup wipe and clean up my line so I don't look as crazy. 
All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyeliner real quick. So I'm gonna use the NYX Matte Liquid Liner in the shade of black, of course. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do my liner. Nice thing is for your wing, you can just follow that line you created and then just connect it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do my mascara, false lashes, and the rest of my makeup off camera so we can come back and finish the lower lash line. So for lashes, I'm using the Ardell Mega Volume Lashes in the style 250 in case you are wondering, and I'll be back. All right, so I went ahead and finished the rest of my makeup. So we can go ahead and do my bottom lash line. Now I'm gonna take my Morphe E18 brush and dip into the shade Relic. I could not tell if that was an I or a C with the fall on the palette. I'm just gonna pack this on my lower lash line. I'm gonna pack it a little bit under there. All right, now I'm gonna take this Cargo Cosmetics Swimmables, this black C liner, and just line my bottom lash line real quick. I'm gonna pop on some bottom lash mascara. So for my lipstick, I used the Jared Cosmetics lipstick in the shade Buttercup. So you can see it's like a mauve pink, but I personally really love it. Um, the other day in my video, I wore the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in the shade Kim KW, but that is like a $32 lipstick and this one is like what is it I don't even know because they always have sales so you can generally find their lipsticks for literally like nine dollars or less so don't get it unless there's a sale find a coupon is my word of advice but this is like one of my go-to lipsticks like this lipstick lives in my purse so yeah now I'll zoom you guys back out and set my face all right, so now to finish off my look, I'm gonna set my face using the Scandinavia, the makeup finishing spray. It's the oil control one. And this is like the big one, the eight fluid ounce, in case you guys are wondering. I love this stuff. No matter how much you spray, it like doesn't ruin your makeup or anything, which is nice. But, yeah, so that is it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you guys want to see more looks using the Kat Von D Saint Center palette, just let me know. I know this is my second one. Um, and I also really want to do a look using the teal and orange. So let me know your guys' thoughts. I know my last video I used the... Um, Saint side mostly or all the way actually so just let me know if you guys want to see another look you like using this palette because I have a bunch more in mind uh, I've just been wanting to use colors since there's obviously mostly colors in this palette I can do a neutral look if you guys want to see that but you guys know I like playing with color on my channel so yeah that is it for this video if you guys like it and want to see another tutorial then give this video a thumbs up Please remember to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And hit the bell if you want to be notified when I post a new video. And yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys!